I've jumped a few minutes ahead and now we can see after about 10 minutes in the backup monitor tab we can see that two backups were actually performed already. For each backup you can see the start and end times, you can see the policy and you can see the status which is successful. Consistency, no means that no uh, application consistency method was applied here. You can see the list of snapshots with the snapshots IDs in CPM. Okay, you have each snapshot has a snapshot ID for the volume. And we can look at the log of the backup. And we can see the backup is agentless, managed by CPM server, fired by schedule. And we can see that it was completed successfully. Now, if I want to uh, go ahead and perform a recovery operation, I can click on recover. The cover brings me actually all the backups that were performed with this uh, policy, which is only one instance as we can see. And I can either choose to backup, uh, or sorry, recover volumes only or recover a complete instance. So I'm going to click on instance. And we have many options here and we're going to use the default. So default is, it's going to launch from a snapshot after uh, the image that was will be uh, created for this recovery operation will be deregistered automatically after recovery. Image ID uh, is actually useless here because we're using a snapshot of the system volume. We can choose uh, if we want to actually restore the original image, but we want to use the snapshot here. And for everything else, I'm going to leave it as is. I can I can choose which volumes to uh, to recover. I can I have your advanced options. You can tell me uh, which uh, security groups. Uh, I can uh, choose the availability zone if I want to launch it to a different availability zone as it was. All the defaults here are the exact ones that are, are uh, that are the backed up original instance uh, options, but I can change them. I can change the instance type, the shutdown behavior, whatever I want. And I'm going to just uh, use the default and click on recover instance, confirm. Wait for a few seconds and I can see here the recovery operation succeeded. Overall one instances were launched and their IDs and we have the ID of the new instance that was launched. Now if I'm going now to AWS Management Console, I'm just going to refresh it now. It'll take a few seconds. Yeah, just bear with me. And we can see the new red instance. Actually, the original instance is stopped right now. We can see there's a new red instance running, and it has uh, the instance ID that was mentioned, and it uh, it has a different AMI ID than the original one because this is a special AMI that was created from the snapshot of the system volumes that was taken during backup. So uh, this is basic backup and recovery using uh, CPM. Uh, I hope it was helpful and I see you in our other video tutorial. Thank you.